um, when we do prototypes back here, we generally do them sonically correct first, you know, and then we deal with what it looks like and try to polish it up. You make the box right, you're actually gaining a lot sonically that you can generally cannot get with with electronics. You know, some easy things to do acoustically is have nice, like, curved edges, no sharp edges. The inside of the box, you want it to be braced, which right now this one's not, but when, before I get done with it, it'll be braced up so it's really stiff. If this box is actually loose and it's, it's contracting like this, when there's bass in there, you're going to lose bass. If it is doing this, you can actually squeeze the cabinet and hold it, and then you'll actually hear the low frequency pick up just by actually making this thing tight. So a lot of our products that you can see underneath, you actually have a lot of screws that actually holds it. So this thing front to back is tied together so it's not going to flex. So making the box so it doesn't do this, it doesn't cost you money in speakers or electronics. It's free. If you do that right up front, you're going to get a better product all the time. Now I'm starting to build it, put the baffle together. I have to put the iPod dock in there. When I put the back on, the batteries, a fake PCBA board in there and then I have to measure the box volume to make sure that I'm in the ballpark to get the performance that I actually need. So once this is airtight I'm going to pour water in here to actually see how much water holds in the volume and then we can see if our prototype is good or if it's bad it's got to go into garbage and we got to start over again tomorrow. Perfect. I know you can't smell because it's video, but that water smells like a fart. Awful. So we have one liter. We're perfect for the box volume that we need. So now we can start putting the other parts into this prototype. So what we're looking at here on the screen, we're looking at the fundamental curve of our speaker. Um, what we're going to try to do here with equalization is to compensate for the peaks and valleys that are in this frequency response. So by the time we're done, this should look pretty smooth, but this is only a reference. You know, our, our real instrument here is actually our ears. All right, so this is actually our digital signal processor, our DSP. So we'll go to our EQ section. And this is where we actually start manipulating the curve to actually get this speaker to sound good. So we think it's going to need a little bit more bass. We'll go to number two, and I think we're going to probably need a shelf in the high frequency. Once we get it to a point where we think it sounds pretty good, we'll bring some of our products back in here to do an AB, which we'll, we have a switch box set up that we can listen to one, flip it and listen to the other. Once we have our products in sight and we're doing the AB box, we'll actually take a competitor product in the same price point that we're actually going up against. We're going to listen to that to make sure that we acoustically beat that product. It gets louder, it goes lower, it sounds cleaner. And I wonder if I ever cross your mind. It's a quarter after one I'm all alone and I need you now They call me King Ho Copy 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 I'm like, whoa, he was hopping yeah. Nobody gets my hobby yeah. We figured this ain't cheating as long as we tell nobody yeah. Tell your girls you're leaving And I'll meet you in the lobby yeah. I'm so cold, yeah, you that hot title You can take our $79 product up to our $200 product, $300 product, and they generally have the same attributes in the sound quality. The bass is strong, your vocals are pronounced, the cymbals, the hi-hats, they're really clear. I wouldn't trade my job for the world. I mean, as you can see, I can listen to music 80% of the time during the day, and I'm doing my job, because if music stops playing back here, then we're not making products.